Hey guys, Trevor with Shadow Systems. It's Technical Tuesday, and there's a term that gets thrown around quite a bit, bore access. High bore access, low bore access. What does that really mean for recoil control? Well, it's a principle that matters a lot to us because it's really what informed a lot of our decisions and how we designed the MR918. So if you get on the internet and poke around and start to read reviews of the MR918, you're gonna hear everybody talking about how flat it shoots. And what that means is it doesn't have a lot of muzzle flip during firing. So um, over time, you know, there's been many polymer frame pistols out there and they're all different in certain ways, but one of the bigger differences is the, the height of the bore relative to the hand from one design to the next. So I'm gonna start with a um, a gun that has a relatively high bore access. So this is the old Walther P99. They're actually pretty cool guns. They shoot pretty well, um, but they do have kind of a high bore access. So if you look at my hand from behind, you'll see, man, there's a lot of slide and there's a lot of beaver tail between my hand and the sights, okay? If you compare that to, let's say an MR918, you'll notice there's really not a lot of slide or beaver tail between my hand and the sights. So the location of the bore relative to my hand is very low. That's this principle of low bore axis. And what it means is when the gun is firing, it doesn't get quite the same amount of leverage on your hand. Imagine if I shot this gun like this right now. It's gonna have a lot more muzzle flip than if it's like this, right? So that's the principle of low bore axis. Um, so again, I showed you the P99, there's a good example. Um, a more modern design is the six hour P320 and this one may or may not have a prototype shadow system slide on it. But again, high bore axis, it sits relatively high in the hand. And for most shooters, a P320 has a little more muzzle flip than say a Glock or, uh, or an MR918, okay? So what, do we, what did we do to achieve a low bore axis? Okay, um, well a lot of the things we learned about doing that started with customizing Glocks, okay? So we've done grip work on pistols and stippling packages and undercuts and things like that for a very long time. Um, through the process of that, we really learned what works well. So if you look at the contours of the MR918, if you look at how the, the bottom of the trigger guard is shaped, how high the beaver tail is and how relatively flat it is, it's hard to see, but even right here, the frame's a little bit pinched in. It's not quite as thick. There's many areas of the frame that have been recontoured to allow it to sit really low in your hand. We've also taken some material off of the edge of the trigger well. So you'll notice if you, if you have relatively short fingers or maybe female shooters or young shooters, their hand, their finger can reach the trigger a little easier with an MR918 than some of the other polymer frame pistols that are out there, okay? so. Our proprietary frame from the very beginning was designed with this principle in mind. Control recoil, bring the very best out of the custom world and put it into a production gun and that's what we've done here. And that's why you'll hear lots of reviews saying that the MR918 shoots really, really flat. So go pick one up. There, um, there's several dealers. You can look at our dealer map on our website and see where they are. Um, they've been recently introduced to Bass Pro and Cabela stores. Um, so you should be able to find one locally and put it in your hand and we're pretty confident that you will definitely feel the difference and you'll be aware of that low bore axis in the MR918.